Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to firstcheck.in Factually speaking is with you Dr. Nicola Simone and me from Italy Today uh, let's talk about uh, ivermectin uh, without preconceptions So this story which is known uh, all over the world uh, stems from the fact that uh, ivermectin in the past uh, was uh, evaluated as antiviral after trials that had shown its effectiveness in the treatment of RNA viruses, such as uh, chikungunya and the yellow fever. And it showed its effectiveness because it blocks the importing alpha receptors uh, through which these viruses infect uh, human cells. So they thought it was also good for COVID-19 which, uh, however, use uh, importing beta receptors to infect the cell, and uh, it's not the same thing. Furthermore, uh, its uh, pharmacodynamics uh, interacts positively with uh, corticosteroids, such as uh, dexamethasone, uh, that is used as an uh, adjuvant in the therapy of COVID-19 patients, amplifying its uh, anti-inflammatory effect thanks to a uh, an increase in permeability in the blood-brain barrier. Hence, the feeling of benefit declared by patients who have used it alone or on prescription and its presumed effectiveness in the very early stages of the disease. Actually, therefore, uh, ivermectin have an antiviral action, but it's not a spice for every soap. Well, uh, in Europe, uh, after several clinical trials, uh, EMA has not not approved the use of the drug, uh, concluding that the available data does not support its use outside of uh, well-designed clinical trials. And however, the toxicological phrases uh, H300, that means lethal if ingested, and H360, harmful to fertility and the fetus, remains. So, as usual, fake news always starts from a fond basement more or less thick of truth, and a castle of lies is built on it. Well, in summary, number one, it's an antiparasite. Number two, he demonstrated uh, antiviral effects on some RNA viruses. Number three, it has a secondary action as an anti-inflammatory. Number four, it has not clearly demonstrated its action against SARS-CoV-2. Number five, it is a very, very dangerous drug, which for no reason, absolutely no reason, should be taken to, for self-medication. Number six, of course, do not believe in miracle pills. They do not exist. Have a nice day and see you for the next episode of Factually Speaking. Bye.